Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm Martin, this is The Whiteboard, and we're learning about all things IT asset management. This week, ITAM tools, setting the right expectations to avoid disappointment down the line. So there's some fantastic technology out there to help you on your ITAM journey, but it's good to set expectations about what you can expect from that technology to avoid disappointment down the line. Uh, especially if you're building out the business case and you're selling things to senior management, you don't want to set the wrong expectations about what this technology that you're potentially investing in is going to do for you. We asked people that had already bought into ITAM technology, what is the number one thing you'd wish you'd known before you'd invested? And the number one response was underestimating the work involved. It would be wrong to assume that you install an ITAM tool and suddenly, boom, you're compliant and money savings are piling up everywhere and beautiful reports being sent out to your stakeholders. That would be the wrong expectation. The reality is ITAM is typically not a turnkey solution. You should consider it more like a platform or a workbench in order to get to your destination. Imagine you had just bought a business and the accounts are a mess and the bookkeeping is a mess and the data behind the business is not great. Um, and you go and install an accounting package so that you can manage things. Will the accounting package by itself make you profitable? No. But it will, if you work it properly, the accounting package will give you sufficient data in which to turn the ship, make strategic decisions, and eventually you'll get to profitability if you're doing it properly. And ITAM technology is the same. It's a workbench. It will give you data back if you work it, and then you can turn the ship and you can reach your goals accordingly. So in terms of ITAM technology and tools, you're gonna to need some technology. You can't do world-class ITAM with an Excel ship spreadsheet. You're going to need to invest in certain uh, technology or harness what you have internally, but you're gonna you're going to need some technology. You're gonna need some people behind it. Remember the number one complaint of people that had already invested into ITAM tools was underestimating how much horsepower was required to actually get the result. You're gonna need people, either it's yourself, your team, or somebody else, specialists, whatever, you're gonna need some people to drive this. And finally, you're gonna to need to refine your processes. You're not gonna get perfectly compliant just by plugging the tool in. The tool will give you signals, and that will, you need to refine your processes, ref, refine the habits of your organization, and then that will get you to your goal.